Hey guys, this is Dylan with Phillips Run Drip Mobile Company. I'm coming back to you again with another series on the Bass Boat Lumacraft Super Bandit. So uh, next thing we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be pulling the decks back out and welding the aluminum top down to the bracing on the bottom. So I've got to do the front and the rear on that. So we'll take this all out. I got one more brace I'm gonna add because I've got to put the uh, pedestals in on the front and rear. So there's one brace in the middle on the front and rear. You gotta put it in. And then uh, pulling this out, pull it and then we'll weld the front down, weld this separately, weld that to the boat, and then weld again, pull this out, weld it, and then weld that to the boat. And uh, that's pretty much it as far as welding. I should be done with all the welding I gotta do. And then we'll get this thing took over to the uh, paint shop. You know, I got a little bit of odds and ends to tidy up on and get this thing primed up and painted here pretty quick. So just hang tight with me and I'm gonna put you on a time lapse and go through everything we're gonna be doing here.
got the uh, back deck welded up. All that's down. Picked up a slight warp, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. I might have to put pressure on it and let it set for a little while. Um, fixing the start on the very back. And I've been, I was trying to contemplate on the best way to do that. And so what I come up with is I just took and drilled a, uh, didn't drill a through hole, but I just drilled a slight hole in. So I just, I drilled a hole, you know, I just drilled down through. So it's through this and it contacts into that. So that way I'm just gonna come back and just plug weld that back up and see if I can't make that work. So just bear with me and we'll find out and see what happens there. She blew through like a Texas twister out to destroy anything in her path. I got caught up in the crosswinds, lost everything I ever had. Yeah, that girl is some kind of bad. Stole my love like a thief in the shadows, broke my soul, shattered my heart like glass. Skipped town in the midnight hours, now I know I never had a chance. Yeah, that girl. Some kind of bad. She's like a rolling thunder lightning Striking from a clear blue sky Here today and gone tomorrow Eyes wide open, running blind A gypsy outlaw on the moon And never looking back You're that girl is Some kind of bad can turn a saint into a sinner Make the light he follows paint to black Don't let her beauty fool ya Her kiss is poison to any man Yeah, that girl is some kind of bad She's like a rolling thunder lightning Striking from a clear blue sky Here today and gone tomorrow Gypsy outlaw on the moon And never looking back Yeah, that girl Is some kind of bad From a clear blue sky Here today and gone tomorrow Eyes wide open, running blind A gypsy outlaw on the moon And never looking back Alright, I got the back deck done I got it welded up uh, Not super happy with how it turned out I had a little warpage from where the heat Across the, the whole piece Warped a little bit, but Nothing I can't get straightened out, which I've straightened some. And so now at the point where after I put the gaskets in it, it'll all be handled. And so then on the front deck, I done completely different. I bought a, uh, it's like panel bond. It's an adhesive that's made to go between, it's a structural adhesive made to go between like metals or whatever in it, pretty strong. And so then I put that down and then I drilled it and riveted it also. So I've got the glue plus the rivet. So it should be, just as strong, if not stronger than the welds are. So that's what I've done on it. So yeah, I got a little little warpage on here. I've got about a quarter inch warp. So it's, it's not terrible. I'm gonna put a gasket in between just to keep it from making noise. And then the front, you know, I've done the, uh, the rivets with the glue. I've done that on the very front piece and this piece. And it's, crazy how much different it is in sound and it's just the strength between the two of them of course you got the warpage but it is what it is i'll get it all straightened out and everything ready so now at this point i gotta wait and let this glue dry it'll take 
I think it's 48 hours full cure. And then I'll take it over to the shop and uh, prime it and get it ready, get it painted. So that's where we're at now.